Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick battery install on my wife's 13-inch MacBook Pro from 2012. It is time to replace her battery. You could barely push down on the trackpad because the battery had expanded. So not an issue with the trackpad, just an issue with the battery being old. So I've used these guys' batteries before, Ninja Bat, and uh, they seem to work fine. I used it on my 15-inch 2012 MacBook Pro, and now I'm installing it on my wife's 2012 Unibody 13-inch MacBook Pro. So as you can see, they give you the two screwdrivers you need, which is just a Phillips and a Tri-Point Y screwdriver, both of them size zero. They do not give you a spudger, uh, but I already have some of those from past upgrades. So you just gotta remove two pieces of shrink wrap before you install it. This long piece that's on the upper part of the battery and then on the back side, you wanna remove this little piece. You don't wanna leave those on there because they will cause heat issues. And now we can get to removing the old battery from the MacBook Pro. And of course you wanna discharge any static electricity that might be on your body before you open up the computer. Uh, you know, you can use one of those anti-static wristbands, link in the description. If you're so inclined, I usually just discharge any static on my body on something that's metal that's nearby, but uh, better safe than sorry. And we'll go over the battery tips once we get this installed. So you want to flip the MacBook Pro over. I would recommend putting it on a soft cloth or something so you don't scratch up your cover. And, uh, and then just remove all 10 screws. Uh, some folks say you should start actually in the upper right-hand corner where the three long screws are. The ones at the top, there are three long screws. All the other ones are little tiny little screws. Very easy to drop, very easy to lose. So make sure you find a nice spot to place them so you don't lose any of them. And I'll just speed this up. And remember that those upper three screws that I'm about to undo, this one, this one, and this one are the long screws. And they have to go back in the same spot that you remove them. All the other guys are the little ones. So there's the last one out. Now we can take the back cover off again, discharge any static electricity, because this is where you don't want to touch the logic board and zap it with some static electricity. And unlike the 15 inch model, this one doesn't have any clips. The back cover comes right off. And as you can see, I installed a Samsung SSD in there. And honestly, the interior of this computer is pretty clean. There's not a lot of dust in the fan, uh, which is surprising. So you have two screws to remove and you need the tri-point screwdriver, the red one for this job. And the screw on the right here is pretty easy to take off. Uh, and I found, and this is also with my 15 inch MacBook Pro, that the screw on the left always seems to be a little tighter. And both of my computers, this one and the 15 inch MacBook Pro, the plastic that the screw goes down into on the battery was cracked. It's odd that they both had the same issue, but they both did. And you want to be careful of that because you don't want a little piece of plastic falling down into the logic board. So just keep an eye on that. And that's exactly what did happen to me. The cracked piece of plastic fell down into the frame of the computer and I had to go in there and get it out. And that little demon is right there. So now with my spudger, I'm gonna lift up on either sides of the battery connector. And you have to do this before you start removing the battery. So you wanna remove the connector. As you can see, I've already kind of lifted up on the battery, but uh, you should disconnect this first. I'm getting in there with my fingers. Now that I've got it loose and out it came, and we've got the battery out. And one thing to note, uh, you can see that the battery, the old battery, is swollen. And when it does that, it pushes up on your trackpad. So if you find your trackpad is not clicking like it used to, and your battery life is low, it usually means the problem is your battery. And while you can adjust the clickiness of your trackpad, 
with the little screw there at the base of it. Usually it's the battery swelling that's to blame. So we'll put the new battery in, kind of do it at an angle. I actually found I had to push down pretty hard on the battery. It wasn't quite in all the way. So I'm reconnecting the connector. Don't forget to do that, or obviously your computer will not boot. And then you gotta put the two screws back in. So I'm doing the one on the right first. You don't wanna over tighten these. They actually strip really easily, these screws, especially that one on the left. I always seem to have a little trouble with that one. And um, I actually did a second battery replacement on my 15 inch and that screw was totally stripped and I had to use pliers to get it out of there. It was quite difficult. And the screws seem to be sticking up just a little bit, but maybe that's the way it was. I'm not sure, but it wasn't going all the way down. Maybe Apple's battery was a little thicker there and that's why they crack. So now we're going to put the back cover back on, just line it up. But before we put the screws back in, I'm going to hold the cover on and flip it over carefully and see how the trackpad feels because you don't want to put all the screws back in and then find out your trackpad still needs adjustment. But uh, it felt perfectly normal. So I was good to go. I'm just going to flip it back over and put the screws in. But if you have an issue, you can go adjust that screw at the base of the trackpad. So we'll close it up and flip it back over carefully because this the cover is still loose. And now we'll put in the screws. And one thing to note is that the long screws go straight down, but the little tiny screws, they need to go in at a slight angle. Um, if you put them in straight down, they're not gonna be flush with the case. They have to go in just slightly angled. And you'll see, once you screw it in and run your finger over the screw, it'll feel like it's not sticking out at all. So if it is sticking out a little bit, you should screw it back in. And um, you know, don't over tighten it at first because you wanna make sure that you're going in at the right angle. So we flipped it over and we'll boot her up. And there you have it, folks. Nice new battery in a 2012 MacBook Pro. Now an important note that they give you in the manual with the battery is that you should use the battery until the battery reaches about 10%. When I first turned on the battery, there was only about a 30% charge. And do not let the battery discharge completely. This may cause irreversible damage to the cell. So you wanna turn on the computer, keep an eye on it, and when the battery gets down to 10%, then you want to plug it in and charge it. So don't plug it in when you first are doing this. You want to have the battery run all the way down to 10% and then you want to shut it down and charge the battery to 100%. And you want to repeat this, letting the battery die down to 10% and then charging it to 100% five times to really get the best life out of your battery. So I highly recommend following those directions. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next Max Sound Solutions video.